Christmas 2022 has passed and a job that has to be done is to remove all the Christmas decorations and lights on or before the 12th night. I've just noticed that these past flowers have started to grow and they've got a right good crown on them. If it keeps mild like this, they'll be out by the end of February. In the first week in January, the snowdrops are showing their first flowers, but it will be several days before they open. Up to the middle of January, it's typical Lancashire weather. Wet and often very windy with gales, but never really cold. All the rain tops up the ponds to their overflow level. On the 16th of January, the cold weather returns with 2 to 3 inches of snow, giving the garden a typical seasonal look. During the cold snap, keeping the bird feeders stopped up is essential because the local natural food is difficult to find under the snow. Keeping the old garden structure over winter and not cutting back until March not only helps the wildlife but gives the garden a picturesque structure with these Christmas card conditions. In the last week in January, the slightly milder weather returns. Just average temperatures, but never feeling mild. It's the beginning of February and the snowdrops are starting to give us a good show. When it's this time of year, I know it's the start of another gardening year. Besides the snowdrops, I've just noticed that we've got our first crocuses opening. In the middle of February, the natural cycle and peace of the garden was interrupted by house maintenance, with the re-roofing of the garage and the lower roof at the back of the house. After the repairs, the weather remains dry for a good swelling off and clean up. On the 20th of February, a bird call I'm familiar with. And yes, a visit from a cock pheasant. And he was very wary of one of the local cats. It's the last day in February and spring is arriving but it's exceedingly and frustratingly slow. The frogs have started spawning and we've about seven clumps. They've always come during the evening and spawn overnight and I haven't yet seen a frog in the pond. We won't get a mass spawning during daylight hours till the weather warms up. Yes, spring is arriving but it won't be until March till we get to quickening in the garden and that's when I'll see you again. 